New bookshelves, new bookshelves, new bookshelves, new bookshelves. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm. That's kind of a quick overview of them, and I'm gonna go into them a little bit more detail, and then I'm gonna show you them one by one. So over here is kind of my hardcover standalones, with a couple exceptions. Then here is my angel and demon books. Um, which kind of spills over to here. Here are my, few from my dogs. Um, these are my trilogies. Um, minus... Shit, my trousers closed. Awesome. Can't no. Minus, um, Divergent, which I only have Divergent physical copy. I have the other ones on ebook. And then over here... Try and have good light is my vampire shelf minus twilight and then over here um, is these are kind of my nonfiction books mostly about horses and just like a Christmas book this is actually autographed which is pretty awesome and then I recorded a storybook that I got for Christmas one year and then these are like my self-help books and a couple like fill-in-the-blank type books like breakfast journal and then this is a Christmas book and then in here this is kind of just like my junk um, not really gonna go through that all that much then over here this is my Twilight books um, I have all the Twilight books except for the graphic novel and Retainer. And then I have the Twilight Companion and Cinder. Then over here I have books that are in series that I don't have the whole series for and these are paperback. Um, and then this is my Mortal Instruments shelf, which I hope to be completing this series, hopefully, hopefully for Christmas. And then there's um, just a random book by Brandon Sanderson over there. Then over here, I have, um, I guess, quartets. I have um, two quartets here, and then um, these are... I guess this could technically go over here because it's a series. And then this one is just hardcover. Um, it's, a, it's a duology right now. I don't know um, if it's going to be more than that. Then this is my adult shelf. Then here I have all my Seventeen magazines. And then here are... Um, paperbacks um, that are mostly standalones. Eventually I'm gonna have to fix that when I finish um, this series, this series, and this series. And probably this series. <laughs> and then I have uh, all my bookmarks and yes that is Jesse the Reader sticking out on top. He was my booktubathon kind of keep reading type of thing. Then here's just more, um, here's, um, there's a standalone hardcover that didn't fit on my other shelf. Then these are mostly standalones, don't quote me on that, plus the selection. And then we have my Teen Vogue copies there, and then this is like art supplies. And then we have... Um, just extra uh, fabric boxes over there. So now into the detailed part. Okay, starting with this first shelf, we have Chasing the Skit by Jancy Patterson, Cruel by Jennifer Alban, The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wasserman, The Shadow so Society by Marie Rakuski, Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, 
Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar, Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert G Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Butter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. The third one is Dreams of Gods and Monsters. I'll pull that out when we get there. Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Full Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. The third book, which is Missing a Dust Jacket, which is Silent. And the last one is Finale by Fe Becca Fitzpatrick. Halo by Alexandra Adornetto. Hades by Alexandra Adornetto, which is, is Heaven by Alexandra Ader Adornetto. Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. May Bird and the Ever After by Jodie Lynn Anderson. May Bird Among the Stars by Jodie Lynn Anderson. And May Bird Warrior Princess by Jodie Lynn Anderson. Delirium, Pandemonium, Requiem, all by Lauren Oliver. Novellas in the Bind Up, um, which is Hannah, Annabelle, and Raven by Lauren Oliver. Shiver, Anger, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, all by Suzanne Collins. Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Fantasi. A really old Helen Keller book that I really had nowhere to put. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Sequel, Frostbite, is Shadow Kiss. And the fourth book, Blood Promise, is on my Kindle, as well as Spirit Bound, or um, on my um, iPad. And then we have The Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell. We have Kringle by Tony Abbott, signed and personalized. And then we have um, a very dog eaten copy of Horses and Ponies. The Tale of Horses by Elizabeth K. McCall. Uh, and The Crystal Children by Doreen Virtue. And then back there is my recorded storybook from my mentor, Bonnie, and it's On the Night You Were Born by Nancy Tillman. Over here, where my light doesn't quite reach, behind the Christmas present, we have The Courage to Heal by a bunch of really smart people, The Courage to Heal Workbook, uh, Finish This Book, This is not a book. Mess. The Pocket Scavenger. There's a five year QA back there. And my Reckless Journal. Okay, so my tripod doesn't come down this far, so I'm going to have to hold my camera for this. Um, but then I have Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. The Twilight Companion, the Unauthorized Guide to the Series. Something got on my lens. By Lois H. Gresh. And then I have the first book of the Lunar Chronicle, Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Then over here, we have Kathy's Key by... Someone Stewart, someone Wiseman, someone Brig. Then I have four Pretty Little Liars books. So it should be Pretty Little Liars, Flawless, Perfect. Then one goes in between here, which I don't have, and then Wicked. And then I have The A List by Zoe Dean. This is the second in the A-list series. Um, this is Hollywood Royalty. Then I have the Divergent book, um, which I got at Walmart. And then Wings by Abel and Pike. And yes, it is autographed. And it just says Belief. And then here is just a mason jar 
that I painted and you can watch the video on my channel somewhere. And then this one is kind of rambled for now, but we have The Rhythmatist by Random Brandon Sanderson, Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, I believe these are backwards, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare, and City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. And I ordered all of the books in this series, and I only received three, so that was something. Of the Uglies trilogy and its companion novel, so that would be Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, Pretties by Scott Westerfeld, Specials by Scott Westerfeld, and Extras by Scott Westerfeld. And then we have the Beautiful Creatures Quartet, so that consists of Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Beautiful Chaos by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And then we have the book I am currently reading which is Beneath the Glitter by Ellen Blair Fowler, which is much better than I was expecting it to be. And then it's sequel, Where Beauty Lies. So we have my adult books shelf. I have the song of something, something, something. Um, the Game of Thrones series, but my brother has the first one in his locker, so I have... A Feast for Crows by George R.R. R. Martin. A Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin. And A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin. And then I have True Blue by David Baladachi. Dragon Tears by Dean Koontz. Intensity by Dean Koontz, Bad Place by Dean Koontz, and Two for the Dough by Evan Janet Ovich, which that is a sequel. And then I have The Homing by John Saul. Um, this is either Jack Dawes or Ken Follett by either Ken Follett or Jack Dawes. We have From the Corner of His Eye by Dean Koontz. We have Icebound by Dean Koontz. Velocity by Dean Koontz. The Key to Midnight by Dean Koontz. Cruel and Unusual by Patricia Cornwell. Incriminating Evidence by Sheldon Siegel. Mr. Murder by Dean Koontz. Missing Persons by Stephen White. Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. And Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. We have... The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Uh, in Shadow in the Shadow of Blackbirds by Cat Winters. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. Of Confessions of the Prep School, of the Private School Murders by James Patterson, which this is a sequel. And I'm asked for the first book for Christmas. Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Uh, Memories of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin. Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. 
The Dolls by Kiki Sullivan. Asylum by Madeline Rue. The Hunger Pains. And Nightlight by The Harvard Lampoon. And the last shelf of books consists of Meant to Be by Lauren Marill, Weeping Under the Same Moon by Jana, Jana Liaz, Into the Wild Nerd Yonder by Julie Halpern, Prep School Confidential by Kara Taylor, Homeland by Cory Doctorow. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. What Goes Around by Courtney Summers. And this is a bind up of Crack to Be and Some Girls Are. Uh, Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Beastly by Alex Flynn. Dead Girls Detective Agency by Susie Cox. And The Selection by Kira Cass. It serves. <laughs>